Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back to the wonderful world of Universe Sim, and it's time to try our hand at another 100 nugget run. Um, you know, it'd probably just be easier to go to McDonald's and be like, I'd like a 100 piece nugget, please. I just need a 100 of them. But, but, we don't want any of those nuggets. We want some of our own homegrown hand spun nuggets. I'm not gonna spin shit by hand, but I've I want the option, so we're going to do it ourselves. So what we're doing is we're going to look for a place that has lots and lots of food. Like, we've got a couple of food trees here, and plenty of regular trees for them to cut down. We're going to keep looking, though. We're, we're going to look for the perfect spot. And while I'm looking, we're going to talk about some stuff. And what are we going to talk about uh, that, that stuff related? First, why don't I save? Because I've had this question pop up a couple times, and here's why. I can't. There's currently no functionality for saving and loading. It's incredibly sad. And it's why this game has moved to Sundays with longer, bulkier recordings. Because I can at least get a ton of bang for our buck, so to speak, um, by doing it like this. I would much prefer to have it broken up during the week and and just have one long continuous run this is a ton of fruit trees we've got plenty of food here and plenty of trees here I think we we post up here with the stockpile being closer to the trees here so they cut these trees down first and then they can go after all this food over here hmm could be a losing strategy though not that strategy really plays much into this game yet, I don't think. Yeah, what do I know? Anyways, so yeah, I don't, I don't save because I can't. So for those of you asking, hey, dummy, why do you keep starting fresh? It's literally because we don't have a choice. We, we have to start fresh. And it sucks because, you know, we, we, we get a really nice viable colony going. And the next thing you know, well, it's it's been it's been a while. And, and we got to wrap it up. So we're going to do our best to try to avoid that um, in the future as soon as they get that feature in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually do um, rush foraging and try to get that done so that we can get some farms going to try to avoid starving to death and starvation stunting our colony like what happened to the last time. I keep calling it a colony. It's a civilization been playing way too many space games where it's all about colonizing. Now, I created these people, I didn't start a colony. So, you know, you, you do what you can. Because you must. Because, you know, there you go. I should assign jobs. I'm sitting here like, well, why aren't they working? Because, dum-dum, you didn't give them work to do. They're just, they're just going to do their own thing until you give them work to do. So let's have them work. You go forage food, you go chop trees. And then make babies, and your babies are going to grow up, and they're going to make babies, and then we're going to do one million people in, in 20 minutes. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. They haven't changed anything. There's been no update. The next big update is slated to come out on March 15th, and we're going to be going to version 0 0.06. So, 0 0.0.6. Um, the, the big change that I know is going to be a little bit interesting to see if it's worth it is we're going to be switching from uh, pre-alpha to alpha. Now, it's coinciding, I believe, with some goal that was during the Kickstarter, but um, I'm not sure what gameplay changes there's going to be to... Um, kind of mark the change of going from pre-alpha to alpha. I'm, I'm understanding that there's a, a significant change coming to the game. I just don't know what it is. I think a, a lot of it has to do with the new stockpiling system and resource management system, but I'm not sure if things like the save and load system is even on the docket yet. And this is all that I remember from reading on, on their forums, so you can go check them out. Um, they're out in the various bits of the forums. Uh, it's... Honestly, I'm not sure if it even matters that we're dropping the pre from the the pre uh, from alpha 
and just going straight to alpha, the game still, the state of the game is still one that you're, you're starting over fresh, there is only the Stone Age, and there's a limited amount of stuff that you can actually get into, stuff that actually affects the gameplay. Um, such as you know, the AI and, and the capacity for that, the civilization and the capacity for that, the civilization's impact on the environment. Um, so, you know, there, there are a lot of concerns. A lot of people have concerns about this game burning out. So one of the, the big problems with games that have popped too early is, you know, they take a while to get up and running to where, you know, it's implementing features and just banging them out over and over again because you're doing a lot of um, system writing. So systems would be the AI, the pathfinding, the um, structure of the buildings, the use of the buildings, um, the iteration on that kind of stuff. So we went from stockpiles to warehouses to a new version of stockpiles to, you know, all these different versions. Those are just iterations and refinements of the game design, and they're important to do, but they can be taxing a lot of rapid changes or a lot of slow changes that are staged and rolled out very slowly can frustrate gamers, especially those that really want the full game to come out sooner rather than later. Um, the, the temptation as a designer and a programmer and a company is to put the product out as early as possible, get that pre-alpha buzz going on, but you also run the risk of, of burning out your loyal customer base with really slow updates and slow changes. And, you know, this game runs the risk of that because it's a very, very ambitious project. Um, there have been discussions on, on in the comment sections between myself and, and others, you know, is this going to go um, the way of Spore? Where Spore started out with this lofty goal of being this massive... Not just civilization building, but but race building, uh, species building, I should say, simulator where you would go from the the microbial level all the way to space and conquer it all and customize it all and do it all. And the microbial level had some really really cool features in it. And it was really well polished. And you could tell they did a lot of work. And then as soon as you got on land, the game kind of just fell 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 flat. It, 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 it plateaued very quickly and it became very boring and samey. And basically uh, it played the same pretty much consistently. After you got out of the microbial level, the game oh, global population has reached three and, and, and it's growing. Well, that's good. That's good. We got, we've got adults now so we've got two more workers. Let's go ahead and have them begin building. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, you know, we, we've we've got a case where the concern, and it's a valid concern, is are we going to put this game out, and is it going to be a case where um, the Stone Age is going to be incredibly polished, because it's the age that they've been churning on, and then they're going to rush the implementation of the later stages. And it may not be that the Stone Age is the only one, but as we get closer to the end game, which is the Space Age and the modern eras, um, are they going to be just as polished? And really it comes down to the project management and the way the team handles the, the production goals, because um, it's, it's hard to balance a development cycle where you are... Um, Repeating the iterations on early gameplay, and then you're trying to implement that evenly at the uh, end of the development cycle. Not that they're going to finish developing on this after they release it. They're going to keep developing on it and, and polishing it and balancing it, but you know what is the impact of the release? Because releases are very important. Um, if you look at, say, uh, Civ 5. When Civ 5 came out, it was abysmal compared to um, like Civ 3. It didn't really get good until the first expansion and, and several massive updates. Then the game was polished and everybody was like, okay, this is the game that was supposed to be released. It took them a long time to get there and they had to release this product. I'm, I'm, my theory is that this game is going to follow that same logic. 
that they're going to release the game because they have to. They have to hit a deadline. They're going to have to put the game out in full version sometime. Probably this year. Um, when they do, I think that they're, they're going to make it very clear that, hey, this is the first version of the game. We have more product coming. So if you get to the later stages of the game and you're like, oh, this is really underwhelming, I think you should give it time. I think it's going to be a case that, yeah, the game may be less polished on the back end, but I think if they do it right, they'll get to the point where the complete picture of the game is there and it's expanding. Games like this can have, if done right, unlimited replayability. A comparison that's drawn a lot recently is, oh, this is black and white without the pet. I've done, I haven't played black and white, but I've done a lot of research on it lately, and I think that that's a decent comparison. The challenge that they have is reaching the level of depth and complexity that you can have in black and white. I don't know that they're there yet, because it's so early in development that it's it's hard to tell. I mean, right now, they only have one god power slated, and I honestly, I understand why they put it in, because people wanted it, and it's awesome that we can see that. I'm not sure it's necessary to have it in right now, because it has no impact on the game. For example, I can't rip this tree out of the ground, take it over here, and let my nuggets use it. So I'm going to drop this tree. They won't be able to use that tree. I can no longer interact with this tree, and that tree is no longer an object recognized as something that the game can interact with. So, for example, I can click on this tree and see it's a pine tree with 40-40 health and would give me 60 wood. I can no longer click on this tree and see that. So let's go way over here and look at uh, this fruit tree, which is very unlikely that we're going to get to it ever. If I pull this fruit tree out of the ground and I bring it all the way back over here to my people and gently set it down, they still won't be able to use it. So we're gonna drop this tree here and they're not gonna be able to use that tree. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna look cool, it's gonna be a floating tree, but that's it. That, that's all we get out of it. So until god powers actually have impact on the world other than taking things away from nuggets, there's there's really no g good use for the tree, or for, for the power itself, simply because, well, what's, what's the value of being able to pick something up and um, delete it from the game, essentially? Like, if I were to take one of these trees, let's take that one. No, I can't because the mountain's in the way, and I can't pick that mountain up, which is fine. I mean, you don't really want to pick mountains up. I really shouldn't do it with a rock, either. Because we've seen what happens when you take a rock into space. Come here, tree. Alright, so we're going to take this tree. We're going to take this tree into space. I mean, other than doing this, which is hilarious, I just chucked a tree into orbit, and that's great. This The power has no impact on the world. It has no value to the world other than going, look, we're implementing god powers. This is what you guys have been asking for, which we have. Um, isn't it great? Well, uh, sort of. It's sort of great. It's great that you're working on the systems for god powers, and it's great that um, you can affect the world now, but what's the point? What was the value of being able to grab that tree and, and chuck it into space, other than to say, you can grab a tree and chuck the fucker into space? There isn't any. It has no value on the gameplay. It is currently a meaningless implementation. Now, I want to be clear when I say that. Just because it's meaningless now doesn't mean it won't be meaningful in the future, because it, it will. It will absolutely be meaningful in the future, and that's important to know. When they get to the point where they are going to be... Um, we need more stone. Where they're going to be able to implement... Um, more of these these end game features such as as god powers that allow you to actually impact the world it's going to be a much better experience so it'll say for example i can pick up one of these trees move it closer and my nuggets will go over there give thanks to their lord me and chop the tree up and use it 
that's that's ideal. That's what the god powers would be used for. So if my people are starving, I can go around the world, pick up fruits and vegetables for them, bring them to them, and they can give me praise and offering and believe in me more. You know, that would be the way we'd want to go with with the implementation of that. And I don't know if, if that's the way the developers want to go. Keep in mind, you know, I'm speculating on all this, but they may want the gods to take a more passive role in the shaping of their species that they create. They may want us to, I don't know, create something and then shape it through the technology tree that we choose and when we choose to give it to them, or shape it through the policies that we, we enact, the edicts that we hand down. But I don't... I don't think so for this game. There's another game that does that. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it, I don't. I don't really think that that's this game. I think this game is more about your god creating these people, and you have these powers where you can eventually do things like design your own nuggets, sim style, and your nuggets will have your design, your personal fingerprint of style, and they'll be in the game and you'll be able to control them and see your little nugget civilization go nuts great features I'm not sure a nugget stylization feature is what we need right now maybe get the next age working now I want to be clear all they're doing with putting the, the, the nuggetizer in where you can go in and create your own nuggets is just exposing a developer tool they already have so they have a tool where they're creating nuggets. So it's not like they're writing this special tool that's not being used by anybody but the players. This is a tool that the designers are going to be able to use to quickly iterate out nuggets. And they're just making a better GUI for the end users and a little more stable implementation of it. That's great. That's awesome. I'm not sure what their team structure is and what resources are being taken up by that. Keep in mind, development teams are dynamic. Your artists aren't always going to be making art for the same level that your designer will be working on, and the designer and the programmer may be working on different chunks at the same time, so if a designer and an artist are working together to create concept art and talk about the design of new features, that doesn't mean that the project is looking too far forward. It simply means that while the programmers implement the existing feature, the designers and concept artists are talking about what's coming up after they get those features done. Okay, so that tree just decayed, and we don't have it anymore. So I imagine that this one will eventually be cleaned up by the garbage collector, and um, will eventually just sink into the ground as a non-object. Yeah, see, my nugget just pushed it around. It's a very loosely implemented feature of the game and that's okay again we're not even at version point one yet we're at version point version version 0 0.05 so it's a very very early game so all of this is just speculation again game development is complex and and I'm not sure why I said it like that, Get with that inflection. Game development is a very complex task, so there are so many moving parts that you have to consider. Y your programmers are going to work on different chunks that overlap with your designers, and your designers are going to work on different chunks that overlap with your artists, and your artists are going to work on different chunks that overlap again with the programmers. So your, your, your UI and concept artists could be one and the same and work on different tasks. So once the GUI is finalized by the artist, the programmers go in and they implement it, and the designers make sure the implementation uh, matches the design that was thought up by the artist. And oftentimes in smaller teams, all these roles are split by two or three people. This isn't necessarily one of those super small teams. They have money, they've hired people, so they get to do a little bit more as the onboarding process finishes up. And the onboarding process is when you hire a new person, they come into a team, that's onboarding. That person is new. Whether they're an expert or not, they still have to fit into the team dynamic, and that takes a lot of effort. So once the onboarding process is done, then certain things start to happen. And one of those things that happens is they start working on their tasks mm -hmm. and freeing up other people to work on 
new things. So let's say a programmer was hired and one of the, the senior programmers was working on um, Animal Pathfinding and they got Animal Pathfinding 40% done. Okay, but they were also working on the, all these other systems and so this new person comes in and they're like, okay, well you're an AI expert. You have a focus in AI. So you work on um, Animal Pathfinding now. So that person then takes over Animal Pathfinding, taking it off the plate of the other lead programmer, and now that guy can or girl can pick up a new task and make that their priority, which is why you can have multiple systems being rolled out in a single update and just a lot of big changes rolling out in a single update. It's not that one person got all of that done. Sometimes it can, but um, it's it's often a case that the team has come together to polish out a feature. We got twins, woohoo, that, po- that can polish out a feature that will fundamentally change and improve the game in in mass. I got a little rambly there. Anyways, so yeah, you know, you see all these things being talked about and you see all these systems being developed and it's not always the case that it's one person or the whole team doing those things. So it could be a case where they say, hey, we're going to develop these systems and everybody's like, well, maybe you guys should focus on getting the game out. Well, they are. It's just they have other team members working on that right now and these guys can then use their time since they don't have anything going on they can oh I didn't want that there okay it didn't place they can use their time to focus on the design of a new system which is great we we want them to be able to do that we want a distributed team effort because you know while the programmer is working on you know fixing a bug with the camera system or fixing a bug with the AI or expanding the AI you don't want the artists not doing anything. You want the artists creating art and concepts for the next iteration of the game, the next age, the modern era, the spaceships, the aliens, all those things. That you, you want your artists doing that. And while your programmer is working on implementing features, you want your designers balancing the game. You want them um, testing out new features and, and chopping out features that they've implemented in versions that didn't work. You, you want everybody doing something at all times, but you don't want everybody working on just one thing at a time because, well, I mean, let's look at this. Let's look at it like this. If these buildings are done, they don't need any more concept art. Your concept artist, if they're not a production level artist or a texture artist or anything like that, It's good for them not to do something on this chunk and they should work on the newer chunks because they may not have the skills or the expertise, not necessarily the skills, the expertise to contribute to this section. And that's okay. Some people are just massively talented concept artists but a little bit rubbish at 3D modeling or building textures for 3D models. Maybe their passion is for the concept and creation of just visions. That's fantastic. Put those people to work on something else so they have something to do and they're earning their keep, quote unquote, on the team. And then everybody else is working on other things. It's it's distributed task management. It's it's fantastic tool in game development that often gets overlooked because we don't think about it. We see a game not getting fixed and they're implementing other things. Well, maybe the, the the team of three programmers that are working on the fix are the only ones that need to work on it because they're the ones that have the expertise for it, so the designers talk about new systems that are designing that they want to implement. It doesn't mean that they're stopping, uh, always mean, I should say, that they're stopping the work on other games, and or uh, not other games, but other features of the in the game. It just means that they're trying their best to uh, stay busy while they wait for the big patches to come in. Getting a little rambly, but yeah, I don't know. I I always see discussions where a game like this is being made and people kind of go off and and say, well, you should finish the game and stop implementing all these new ideas. No, they Mm -hmm. should be working on finishing the game while implementing and thinking of new ideas. So they should have good project management where 
the game is still progressing so that in a way that um that tree is freaking out it's like attached to that person you see that it's a little dancing tree i've made a dancing tree um that you want them to to progress and develop in a way that there's always something next and you have to have your designers and your artists thinking of that while your programmers and are are implementing the the current design feature set. I've been rambling about game development for a while now. I I apologize if that's not what you want to hear. Um, yeah, it's it's something I'm really passionate about, and and I know how hard it is to do this. So you you really want you really want people to understand. What are you doing? They're busy in there. Get out of there. Get out of there. You both go make babies. Um, you really want the team always working and always thinking about what's coming next while at the same time balancing out what's broken now because there are things that need to be fixed in this game we we've, we've got a bug where if you click on a building and somebody's building it and you click off of it they can get stuck you've got um ai that potatoes out roughly around the 30 minute mark if you're not careful you've got um resource problems, you've got building problems, you've got very limited technology, you have zero progression progression in the um, tech tree. I mean, once you research everything, you don't unlock a new level, and most of the stuff that's researchable in this isn't implemented. So there's a lot left to do, it's just we have to be patient and, and let them finish it on their own time. Is, is pretty much where it's at. So we're gonna we're gonna switch gears here. I've got everybody basically working. And I think that's okay for now. Um, we've got like three people banging, which is definitely okay. But we need this building fixed and finished so they can get this farm done. And then we're gonna have farmers and builders. And the reason I'm going farmers is because we're going to try to head off hunger because. I'm not sure how far they'll go for fruit trees, and I don't want it to be a case where we run out of food and we're having to go super far for fruit trees because they'll die. Even though there's a bunch here, they'll never make it there and, and, and get it back. So we've got a population of 12. Those twins and those people bang 13 now, banging all at once really helps explode our population, and that's what I like to see. Um, we have... Oh, somebody else ready to bang. That's what also what I like to see. We're going to bring one of these builders down and put them in there. So, yeah, there we are. I wish they weren't building that house. I wish they were building the farm first. Oh, well, you can wish in one hand and crap in the other. I guarantee you I know which one's going to fill up first. It's the banana. Duh, you guys thought I was going to say crap. Everybody knows you'll get a banana in your hand before you poop in it. And they're gonna have sex. Alright. Okay, so we've got that uh, clothing researched. I think now we go with... Um, I don't know if that works or not, but we're gonna research irrigation. And then head towards stone cutting. And... Um, timber. Yeah, I think that's a good way to go. I'm trying to do work a little bit more research into this, I'm trying to be a little, little more benefit or use the benefits that are in the game for research, or from technology a, a little bit more. I don't know if it'll do well. I don't know if it'll affect our population, but we do have 14 pop, so we're not we're not slacking or slouching too much. How many people are working on that? There's only one. Let's go ahead and have another builder. We don't really have the people for it, do we? No, we don't. I, I want three food gatherers right now. I, I need to have a good stockpile of food. We'll let you wait a little bit on your bonding and see if anybody else shows up. I'd like to try to bang all at once so that we have pops of growth. So we have adults coming, or uh, children coming to maturity pretty much at the same time. That's my strategy, is try to cluster the babies that are born so that you can 
you know, have people that are the same age, so they'll have kids together faster. I don't know if that works. It's just a theory. A game theory. Yep, oh, wait, wait, that's the wrong channel. Um, <laughs> but we're going to try it. So we, we didn't get another person popping up in time, so we're going to go ahead and let that one go. One thing I am concerned about is it looks like we're running out of stone. Oh, no, we're not. We've got plenty of stone. As long as they can reach this stone up here, we should be fine. Okay, so now they're putting resources over here, which is good. Don't hit the abort button. You can click the abort button and you can cancel, but you're probably going to get your person trapped and they'll starve to death there unless you cancel the building completely. I don't want to do that because it's a waste of resources, so we're going to not. Okay, we do have water rocks, don't we? I do like that they'll come over here and they'll harvest rocks out of the water. I think that's hilarious. Okay, so they're finally banging. We've got, what, this will be 15 or 16? I think 15. I don't think we'll have twins that close together. It would be nice, though. A boy and a girl, so that they can then grow up together and then make other babies. Again, really, really creepy concept there, but I'll take it. I thought being an adult would be fun. Boy, was I wrong. Hey, buddy. Yes, you were. But that's okay. It's alright to be wrong. Billy Boob. Billy, Billy Boob. That's the name I gave that kid. Billy Boob. All right, so we got somebody ready to bang. Let's uh, let's wait a little bit, see if we can get somebody else lined up. Another couple to just you know have a little bit of group sex thing going on. Um, it looks like they're building the stupid uh, stupid hut. I don't want the hut. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to take the constructors off. Have you guys focus on building. So we're going to let them finish that hut and then we're going to remove um, the builders. So that they can finish this the farm. I think that'll be a good idea. Need to get them focused on that farm. Huts, apparently huts don't matter. They don't affect your ability to grow. All they do is take resources and um, make people walk places. So right now huts are, are a secondary concern, I think. We want to get this farm up, maybe have two farms going at the same time, or expand this farm a whole bunch. I'm thinking that's, that's something we want to look at doing. So we have... 16? 17 pop now. Nice. We got somebody else that's frisky. Pretty much round the clock breeding is the way I want to see it. We're going to bring our food gatherers up to four since we have that many people breeding. Oh, there we go. We got two at the same time. That's what I want to see. I'm a big nugget now. Yeah, you are. Get to work. Big nuggets don't cry. Big nuggets work. Okay, that house is 84% done. All right. I like that he walks around, and as he swings the hammer in new positions, that's how he builds the house. That's a nice touch. Okay, so we're going to turn this to zero now. Okay. So no more houses. Oh, they, they queued one up, but they're not going to be able to add to it. We want to get this finished first. What do you mean so hungry? There's 29 food. Oh man, see this is this is my concern. We've outstripped our our food growth, so we're gonna have to put a whole bunch of people in gathering. Let seven people gather. Hmm. Maybe instead of building the constructor hut first, I should have built the uh, the um, farm first. But I'm not sure. I mean, build order really it fluctuates way too much. 
uh, in this game to really have a grasp of it. At least they're banging. I mean, that's that's really the ultimate goal, is to have as much baby sex as possible. Although in this game, sex for fun doesn't exist. It's all for babies, so... And did I just say baby sex? Not what I meant. Don't take that out of context. Sex that then makes a baby. Not anything else. We're gonna move on. Hey, how about this building? Let's get that built. We need th three more wood and 60 stone. We don't have the stone. So where are we getting stone from? I hear stone being gathered. I just don't see it. What do you got? What do you, what do you got? Gathering stone. Carrying three stone. That's all the stone I need. Fantastic. Let's get that done. Let's, let's, let's get that done. I think this person is stuck in this house. Are you the one that's bitching about being so hungry and you're stuck in the house? I bet you are. Mmm, that's troublesome. How are we looking? We've got three stone. Alright, gathering materials and eating is what's going on here. Not what I'd like to see, in all honesty. What is this person that's stuck? We just get these stuck nuggets going on. Undefined, idling, you. You're the one that's stuck. You're dying. So you're a constructor. Let's, um, let's release you from your job. Maybe that will help you get unstuck? No. Yeah, release them from their job. They weren't working because they're stuck in the building that I can't interact with. But we can get those two people banging. Hell yeah. So no wonder this building wasn't getting built. The guy that was supposed to be working on it is stuck in a hut and I can't do anything until he dies. That's a bit of a problem. And I'm afraid if I cancel that, I won't be able to get the resources back. So we're just going to have to let him die. Oh well, sacrifices must be made for the good of the colony. So we aren't running out of food. Uh, we don't want any builders though, not yet. We want to let this get all the resources it needs. And right now it's looking for stone, so we can wait on that. We're going to see if we can't get you a, a mating partner. Hold on. Um, yeah, we, we, can, we can queue you up. I think that'll be good. We'll have plenty of people banging all at once. And that's really what a civilization needs, is as much sex happening at, at all times. Yeah. Look at that. She's just like, get out of the way, I'm sexing up this fruit bush. I'm not really sure how you would sex up a fruit bush, considering there wasn't a bush there, but I think that's what was happening. You know, she did say it was so much fun with two people, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, Kaka has died from hunger. Are you Kaka? You are Kaka. Well, good riddance, Kaka. If you're too stupid to try to get out of the house so that you can eat, well, then you deserve whatever you get. We only want the intelligent ones to mate, and Kaka... You were not intelligent enough. Now I can put somebody on here that's not Kaka. Kalaka's been born, or Kalako. Kaka, he even had a stupid name. Get this built, guys. Do I have somebody gathering stone? Yeah, I've got plenty of stone gatherers. Now I've got two workers building that, so we're good. We're good. Mono was born, mono y mono. That means something in Spanish. I think it's, it's man on man. Or man versus man, but not man on man. That's, that's porn. Man on man porn. Nugget on nugget porn action. <laughs> Porn's not a verb. Well, action would be the verb in that. Never mind. I'm not going to try to break down the English language. I'm bad at English. Instead, we're going to see how many people we can get going. Yay! Because we are almost at 40 minutes. Because the adult is the thing I've ever done. 
Well, technically, we've set some arbitrary age that you have to reach to become an adult. It's not really your choice. You're going to reach that age as long as this little ball has been spin or keeps spinning. And I'm not able to stop it from spinning. See, so watch. Stop spinning. Yeah, so it's it's still going to traverse around the sun whether I want it to or not. So your age is irrelevant compared to your wants and desires. So there you go. I hope you're happy. Hope you're happy knowing that you have absolutely no control over your life. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, we're not getting to 100. It's been way too long since we've had some people banging. And this farm, not happening. We've got the people, we've got the supplies, we just don't have the work going on. Let's, let's put some people to work, see what goes on. See what happens. I think they're going to steal supplies and put it over there. Get another extra set of hands gathering stone and wood, maybe? I don't know. Might help. Might not. We'll have to see. Can't believe that bastard got stuck on the epicenter. Or on that hut and died. What a lazy shitbag. Alright, so we got our, our builders are resting. That's where they're at. But they are, uh, they're, they're building a, a hut, which is good. I'm gonna set them to cheetah speed work. Quit your resting and get me a farm built, you lazy shits. Well, you know, fun really is a relative term. Some people may enjoy being a slave to my desires as the, the one true lord of this planet. Mm -hmm. Other people, you know, maybe like, uh, this is bullshit mommy and, and want to go home. But you, you look over here at this whale, that, that is not a whale, that's a dolphin. I think it's supposed to be a whale, but that looks like a dolphin because the, the tail is just setting a really unrealistic standard for whales. You can't get a tail section that thin on such a big animal. They <sighs> just... I'm really tired of just games setting such unrealistic standards for animals. You know, real whales have curves, okay? Real whales have curves. That's all I'm gonna say. Are you guys actually building this thing or what? What's going on here? Let's research Hammerstone as well. Because I want them to be able to build faster. Faster! Harder! Deeper! The building edition. Hi. Guys. Stop eating and resting and do some work. Ooh, construction on the stone hut was complete. Let's start building another one immediately. Well, we are making progress. We've got 22 people. That's not bad. We still don't have any kind of mating going on, though. Yeah, you're a big nugget. That's great. I'm so proud of you for being a big nugget. I wish that all the other nuggets would would get to work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and assign the last two people to be adults to do some work. And maybe big fucking air quotes there. Maybe I don't know why I air quoted maybe, but maybe we'll 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 get some stuff done. Done. Done gets the air quotes, not the word maybe. Maybe we'll get some stuff done, quote unquote, because I, I don't think it'll ever be done. Don't stop building this fucking farm. Come on, we're 24 away and 3 away on wood. What are you guys doing? Carrying 3 stone. Okay, so they're they're actually doing the work. It only took them, you know, 200 years, but they're, they're getting there. That's good. That's good. I, I wonder where she got that pelt. And she's almost to mating section. Yay! Come on, let me click on her. Ah, she's nowhere near mating. 
I have a big nugget now. All right. Well, why don't you guys go celebrate with some sex in order to make more nuggets? Because we've only got one baby left, and we need twins. Hey, whoever has twins gets to work on the farm for the rest of your life. Won't that be great? Making food for the future. Yay, the future. Yeah? What do you guys think? Well, they didn't say that they were happy about that, but I don't care. You're at 100%. Um... Nope. Not even close. Nope. Come on. I'm trying to click on you. No. Okay, well we're going to go ahead and send you into mating. I didn't see anybody else that was ready. She's going to go mate. Um, they're, They've got 60 stone. Holy shit, we're going to get started. All we need is three more wood. Gather that wood. Build that farm. Build that farm. Doodle doodle doodle. Doodle doodle doodle. Oh, I just wish they'd build it faster. You know, a couple generations ago, that farm would have been real nice to have. Ah, but what can you do? Alright, choose for planting. We're gonna have, um... A lady root vegetable and are typically dull in orange color. We're gonna go with that one. Yeah. Got two people set to go there. I'm going to bring one food gatherer down, so that means we should have two people working there. And let's go ahead and build another plot. So can I add another person? Or do I have to wait for that plot to be built? I don't know. I do like that there's no building there now. I wonder if that's intentional or if that's a bug. What the hell is that? Is that part of the farm? Well, it looks like some sort of mug. Some sacrificial chalice that I didn't know we had. Why do you guys have that? Who are you sacrificing to? I've asked for no such sacrifice. All I ask for is your hard work and lots of sex. A perfect leader. Yeah, I know we have two people that are not doing anything. That's okay. You guys need to switch to repair. We got some people mating, which is good. No idea what's going on there. That bird disappeared into the ground. Wonderful. Okay, so they're gathering. Our food is fine. This farm is getting built. I think the grow times are actually pretty high. Stone hut's complete, which is good. You guys just need to go straight into repair mode, actually. I think. Because we're not building any other tech buildings, so they can just go around and repair the tech buildings that are damaged, or degraded, I should say. Alright, come on guys. Get her done. If you get that built, I can start growing another crop and we can just keep it up. So it's a decent wind. Moderate temperature, so I don't know what kind of crop we'd actually want to grow there. We'll let them finish, then we'll start taking a look. We'll try to um, try to set up growing um, something that works in moderate temperatures. Although it's fairly cold, I don't know. Is that is that cold? It's twenty one degrees, but I don't really know what the analog for that is. Uh, minimum thirty eight or minimum eighteen. So. We're in summer right now, and it's like 21. I think we would go with like, um, 
Plago beans. Yeah, they, they work here, the mud plus uh puzzle ants. So let's go ahead and build another one. Can we add more workers? No. Oh, becoming an adult was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Oh, I don't even have a job, boy. <laughs> I hate being an adult. I just have to walk around and do what I did as a kid. I know. Oh, wow, the Plago beans. Oh, they're not growing. They were planted that quickly. I was going to say, wow, they were, they were done very quickly. Oh, look at the... Look at the little plant. It's growing. I know, I knew about these, but I've never seen these grow. Over here, we'll, we'll plant something else that fits in our, our temperature zone. It's like, it looks like 21's the high. I wish there was a chart. Is there a chart that shows me my temperatures? Let's go to the charts, Jim. Chart, chart, chart. Uh, charts. Um, these are animals, nuggets, resources. I'd like like a weather chart to see what the temperatures were so I had a better gauge of, you know, what am I growing and when and, and what's the temperate zone for this region. W what's my yearly average, I should say. So we got irrigation, storage, shelving, none of that really matters right now. None of that's implemented. Um, I don't know. There's not really much else we we can use. Let's let's enqueue that up just for giggles, and we'll hold off on sending you to mating just for now. We got some more beans growing, which is great. We want all the beans we can get. They are the magical fruit, as as some of you may know. Um, the more you eat them, the more uh, fiber and protein you get. Yep. Fiber and protein. I, thought, I bet you thought I was going to mention some sort of tooting thing. No, no. Only the most mature of jokes on on this this uh, most auspicious game. Shut up. We just researched fire. We we we've, we've been going on for millennia, and we've just now researched fire. I'm smart. 24 nuggets, not the greatest. Not the greatest. But, that's what we've got. 24 nuggetos. Would have been 25 if that dumbass hadn't got stuck in the wall. Choose crop for planting. Um, let's go with cripe. Cripe sounds like a fun crop. Let's build another uh, another plot. Can I assign more nuggets? Nope. So there we go. I think I think farms are the way to go. I think we needed to figure out how we were going to set it up so the farms um, were built faster. I definitely think we can do that. I don't I don't think we'll have a problem figuring that out in the future. But we're going to wrap this episode up here. It's been 53 minutes. Um, I don't really think we're going to have any explosion growth anytime mm. soon. At most, we're going to have twins born here because they're the only people banging. Um, I, I think it was a decent run, but it's it's no, it's no record-setting run, unfortunately. It's the best we can do. Oh, well. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And, of course... If you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.